I'm Walter Krebs from Prairie Home Inspection. Thanks for inviting us in. Hi there. I'm Walter Krebs from Prairie Home Inspection. Welcome to this week's episode of Tuesday's Tips, your weekly home inspection series that is meant to help you in your search for a new home. Today, we're going to talk about windows. Last week, we tested this window for function and egress. This week, I want to go into a bit more detail. I want to talk about what you should look for in a home's windows in order to determine their condition and quality. Here we have a fixed window and a casement window in one frame. Having a non-opening window combined with a window that does open is a common arrangement. Your budget and the rough opening size will determine the window's design. This casement window is a superior style. Let me show you why. You see these seals? There are three between the window and the frame. When this window is closed and latched tight, there is very little space between the sash and the jam. Therefore, there is only a small lock occurs. Now a sliding window does not have the seal arrangement and it will leak more air than this casement window. Seals create friction that would restrict the movement of a slider. So they cannot seal tight otherwise they would be very hard to open. It's important to know this for when you're evaluating a home's comfort you will find vertical and horizontal sliders in many homes because they are less expensive than casement or awning windows. PVC windows replaced aluminum and wood windows. PVC frames have a lower level of thermal conductivity than their predecessors. I'm sure you've seen old aluminum windows with ice on them. That should never happen with a window constructed of PVC. In order to improve energy efficiency, manufacturers of PVC windows often include double or even triple panes of glass. The panes of glass are separated by a spacer and often have a special gas in between them. The spacers and gas help to lower the amount of heat that is lost through conduction. This will help keep your home warmer in the wintertime. But seals do fail over time. If you see a window that has moisture or fog inside of it, then you know the window needs replacement. Upgrading a home's windows usually does not have a significant impact on your heating bill. The R value of double pane glass is only three. But you could improve your home's comfort level. You may not feel the cold draft as you did before. And replacing windows is really not that hard. But there are still plenty of things that can go wrong especially if you are not fully aware of the proper installation process. Then maybe you should hire a professional. And make sure that your contractor is qualified to install the windows you chose. One other thing about windows, actually windows and humidity. We all know how dry our winters can get. And the usual response of homeowners is to crank the humidity up to 50%. I have to say that your house is not happy about that. Your windows certainly are not. The ice that accumulates on the glass will damage the finishings in your home and decrease your comfort in that room. So please... Keep your humidifier set below 25%. 15% is even better. And <laughs> buy shares in companies that sell moisturizer. <laughs> well, that's the end of this week's home inspection tip. But I will be back next week 
with another of Prairie Home Inspection's Tuesday's Tips. I'm Walter Krebs saying I'll see you next time. How are we going to shoot that? I, I don't think I'm tall enough. Over. Keep your head straight. No, but a bit down is okay. <laughs> straight but down. Straight but down, okay. No, your head <laughs> tilted slightly down. You're fired again. I know. You're so easy. <laughs> Last week, we tested this window for function and you, egress. You're rubbing against your collar. How come I'm looking up? Is my collar too high or my chin too fat?